Now, the second part of the question that Rafilwe gave me comes directly from this. It's a follow-up. It says, hence, now remember the word hence in mathematics, tells you use what you just determined. Okay, don't go and do everything again. It says, hence, show that the diagonals of this parallelogram bisect at right angles. Now, guys, there's two issues here. We're working with the diagonals. We must show that they bisect, not intersect, yeah? They're talking specifically bisect. Bisect, bi means two. A bicycle has got two wheels. Bisect at 90 degrees. Okay, so we must show that they cut each other in half. And how do they cut? At a right angle. Two things we need to show. Let's put them in. Let's draw them in the red. There's the one diagonal, there's the other diagonal. What am I required to show? I must show that this length is equal to that one, this one is equal to that one, and more, I must show that this is a right angle. Now guys, if you put your mind back to what you learned in grade, nine, uh, grade 11, or actually is earlier than grade 11 as well, the properties of a rhombus. It's only a rhombus in a square where this is going to happen. This is a parallelogram and a rhombus is a special parallelo parallelogram. Okay, let's find the midpoint. Let's start with that. I'm going to name the midpoint where the two diagonals cross each other. I'm going to name it E. Now remember guys, we must show the diagonals bisect. So we must show... Find, first of all, the midpoint of this diagonal. I think that's going to be the quickest way. Then find the midpoint of that diagonal. If it's the same point, we've proven that they bisect one another. Let's go and do that down here. I'm looking for the coordinates of point E. That's what I'm looking, and that is the midpoint. Now, if I want to work with the midpoint of the line segment BD, so I'm going to say the midpoint of BD is, now guys you can do that in your head, remember this is a two, maybe three mark answer. To find the midpoint, you take your x values and you add them and you half the answer. Take the y values, you add them and you have your answer. Okay, let's just see if we're right. That's the coordinates for B and D. Minus 4 and 1. B and D. Here's D. Minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 plus 2 indeed. Now if I quickly do that calculation, I get minus a half. And over here I get minus 1 and a half. Now let's do, quickly do the same for the midpoint of the line AC. In other words, we're just going to go and add the x's and half. So I get minus 2 plus 1 and I half. I get my y value, 0 minus 3 and I half. And again, look at that. Minus a half and minus 1 and a half. So the midpoint of BD is the same as the midpoint of EC. It's the exact same point. If I go to my diagram that confirms that these diagonals are bisecting one another at this point. In other words, they cut each other in half. Why? They share the same midpoint, the point we just found, the point E. Now guys, the last bit is we've done the first bit. The, the question said, show they bisect at right angles. So I've shown the bisection. Now I must show that that angle at which they bisect is indeed a right angle. Now, if I draw the diagonals over here, let's have a look. Something to that effect, I've shown that's equal to this. I think let's put the coordinates pairs in. D is minus 3 and minus 4. C was 1 and minus 3. 
B over here was 2 and 1. And A is minus 2 and 0. I've proven that. I need to prove 90. Now you guys can remember grade 9 mathematics told you that if a pair of gradients, if I multiply them together, gives me an answer of minus 1, those two lines are perpendicular. Okay, so we're going to quickly go for that. The gradient of AC. Let's quickly calculate the gradient of AC. Top Y minus bottom Y. Be careful of the double negative. Becomes 0 plus 3 minus 2 minus 1. And that leaves me with 3 over negative 3, which is minus 1. Uh, quickly, the gradient for BD. Gradient BD, same process. The top Y minus the bottom Y. Now remember the double negative becomes a positive. So 1 plus 4 over 2 minus minus 3 is 2 plus 3. Now look at that. 5 over 5 which is 1. And all I need to say is the gradient of AC multiplied by the gradient of BD is indeed negative 1. Why? Minus 1 times 1 is negative 1. Okay, Rafilwe, I hope that helped you. Remember, there was two issues with diagonal. Midpoint E must be shared, and the gradients must lie perpendicular to one another. Okay, guys, the producer tells me there's a call waiting, so we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back with you.